Hi, today's story is one of the best stories we have. And it's from one of our favourite authors, Oliver Jeffers, who writes some amazing books. You get any books from Oliver Jeffers, they are all good. This one's called The Heart and the Bottle. Hmm, strange. So there is a heart. That's what a heart looks like. A real heart. And there's a girl leaning on the bottle. In the bottle is a heart. I wonder why. Once, there was a girl, much like any other. There she is, in a wood, looking at a flower. Just a normal little girl. Whose head was filled with all the curiosities of the world. So all the ideas and thoughts, all the thoughts that you have about, why is that like that? Where does that go? What's that? How big is that? Where is that? Can I go there? What does that taste like? All the things in the world. There she is. And all these are thought bubbles. So she's thinking about space. She's thinking about the edge of the world. She's thinking about, can monkeys make statues? She's thinking about how big a whale is. Yeah. And she's thinking about, oh, I wonder if a whale can talk. Or can I talk to a whale? She's curious. It means you have your wonder about the world, okay? The great thing about children is they are really curious. They want to know things. You lot ask me questions all the time. She had thoughts about the stars. There she is with, I think it's maybe a dad or granddad She's looking at the stars and she's thinking, hmm, I wonder. She's thinking about the solar system and the way the stars are. This is, a, this is called a constellation, how stars look like something if they all get together. This is the plough. And I don't know why there's a bee on fire, but she's, she's thinking. She's curious. It's a great thing to be curious. She was wondering about the sea. There it is. She's wondering about the sea. How big is the sea? How deep is the sea? How many fish are there in the sea? Where does the water come from? Why is water wet? How cold is it? How far can I swim? All these questions. She took delight in finding new things. So she's happy when she finds out something new. So she's exploring. She's testing. Oh, what happens if I do this? She's practicing. That's what you're doing all the time at the moment. So look, first of all, she draws. It's okay. It's fine. But it's not the best. But she doesn't get cross. It's really important when you try something new, you can't do it the first time. Like when you're drawing spider webs last week and spiders. I bet the first time you did it, it didn't look like a spider. You went, oh, that's annoying. Or you wrote your name for the first time. You couldn't do it. But the more you do it, the better you get. And we watch you get better and better. And the little girl, look, she's carried on. And now, maybe the 10th time, the 15th time she's had a go, this time she drew a whale. And look how happy she is. When you do something for the first time, it's fantastic. You get so happy that you've managed to do it. Until the day she found the chair empty. Oh, remember the person who was in that chair? Where have they gone? The person that she was sharing with, a granddad or dad, she was sharing all her ideas with, the chair's empty. Feeling unsure, the girl thought the best thing to do was put her heart in a safe place, just for the time being. So the person's gone and she feels sad. We feel sad because we can't see you. So our heart feels a bit sad at the moment. So she put it in a bottle and hung it round her neck. And that seemed to fix things at first. So she's taking the pain of her heart and putting it somewhere else. Although in truth, nothing was the same. She forgot about the stars and she stopped taking notice in the sea. So she stopped being curious. She stopped looking at the stars because she got no one to look the stars with. 
because she used to enjoy sharing her ideas and her thoughts with somebody else. She was no longer filled with all the curiosity of the world and she didn't take much notice of anything other than how heavy and awkward the bottle had become. But at least her heart was safe. So she's grown up now, but she's still sad. She still misses the person in the empty chair. And the bottle round her neck gets in the way. It doesn't make her feel happy. There was a time when the girl would have known how to sh answer her, but not now, not without her heart. And it was right. Oops, sorry, Mr. Page out. It might never have occurred to the girl what to do had she not met someone smaller and curious about the world. So there she is. She's met a little girl and the girl was like she was. The little girl is having thoughts and having ideas. So she is like she was when she was a little girl, full of ideas. There was a time when the girl would have not would have known how to answer, but not now, not without her heart. And it was the right moment. She decided to get it and uh, get it out of the bottle. <coughs> but do you know what? She couldn't remember. So she's decided she needs her heart back. But she can't get it out of the bottle. She didn't know what to do. She's forgotten what it's like to have her heart. And nothing seemed to work. The bottle couldn't be broken. It just bounced and rolled. She's trying to get the, bottle, the heart out. She just can't do it. She even dropped it from a long way up, but it didn't break, it just bounced. What is she to do? Right down to the sea. But there, it occurred to someone smaller and still curious about the world, what she might know, right? She, that she might know a way. And it just so happened, the little girl, it's, it's bound to the little girl. And the little girl has an idea. She did. The little girl got the heart out. The heart was put back where it came from. So the little girl who's now grown up has got her heart back. She's feeling again. And she still misses the person from the chair but she can move on. And the chair wasn't so empty anymore. So now she's sitting in the chair. Look, all the ideas she's having. She's back to being a curious person, full of ideas. But the bottle was empty. Yeah. So the chair's not empty anymore, the bottle is. So, if you are feeling a bit sad, if you are in the blue zone and your heart is feeling a bit sad because you miss your friends or you miss your grandpa and grandma who are a long way away. I know I miss my mum and dad, I haven't seen them for ages. So it might feel difficult at the moment. Don't put your heart in a jar, keep your heart inside and tell someone how you feel, okay? All right, look after yourself and look after somebody else as well. Take care, bye.